Hello my esteemed viewers, welcome to V Tutorials. Today I'll be walking us through uh, a graphic design process using correct draw. I'll be showing us the correct draw basics. So we follow carefully and um, watch. Let me go to my correct draw. Let me search for it. Corel Draw. Yeah, but on this, I'll be using uh, Corel Draw 11. Okay, this is the environment. So you click new graphics. Okay, it's now open. That's taking us to the environment. This is the workspace, but this uh very space here. You cross it. Yeah, you can see it. So I will not uh, kind of be rushing into too much. I'll be showing us first the basics, then. The next video that will be coming in our next class, then we'll talk about how really they works. Okay. Now in Corel Draw, this place we call it Toolbar. This place we call it To Menu. This place, uh -huh, I say this is Toolbar, right? This is tool menu. This is toolbar. Okay, in this place, you can see from the beginning, from the left to the right. This is file, edit, view, layout, arrange, effects, bitmap, text, tools, window, and um, if you need help, I don't advise you to go to this place though. So in Corel Draw, before you do anything, before you do anything, you must need something to work on. And that's something to work on is always here this triangle this rectangle sorry so click the rectangle you click holding your mouse and draw you click holding your mouse and what and draw to give you what you want okay before you can do anything here before you can do anything here you will need to really convert this so the moment you draw this you can you come to this very place this is the color menu come to this very place and click anything you want you see it's reflecting it click this one change click this one it change click this pink some of us like pink a lot no pink some of us like pink a lot you see it's changing Okay, if you want to use this tool, starting from the first tool, we call this one pick tool. We call it pick tool. Okay, click on the pick tool, come to this place. You see, it's picking. Take it to anywhere you want. It's picking. This is what we call a pick tool. So, this is too big. I think I should reduce it, its size. Okay, you see, this is what we call a pick tool. Okay, if you want to duplicate this, if you want to duplicate this, you can just left click, hold it, draw it aside, and right click. You see, now we have to. <laughs> okay, if you want to duplicate the two or you want to move the two, you highlight the two. How do you highlight? You left click outside, then you draw and make sure they are all in the circle. You see, now I can take two of them by holding this place. You see can take two of them very clear okay and uh i can also make them four by doing the same thing left click hold and drag and right click you see they are now eight so if i want to move the whole eight i can still highlight them and uh reduce them do anything what i want 
If I want to reduce them in size now, you see you hold this arrow, this angle, you see? You see that this arrow will change automatically, you see? You click in, now you see what it is, yeah. So, that's by the way. So, I delete. Let me show you the second tool, how it works. I cannot use it without this, as I said earlier. So, let me draw this rectangle again. You can drag, as we said earlier. Then, uh, let, yeah, let me put a color too, maybe ash this time. Put it ash. So, to use this, if I click this, we'll call it shape two, it will affect the whole of this. If I hold here, you see what it turns to. If I hold here, it turns it the same. If I do this, turn it here, you see? And if I want to pick it around, I return the two here. Whatever you always return your two here if you are true with it. You see? I can, I can, it kind of quickly, uh, or remember something, if you click, you see? This sign change, if you click again, they return to the normal sign. Okay, if I click, you see, this allow you to roll. To turn the image, to turn the angle or whatever you're working on. So if you want to turn the angle, take your arrow to angle 90, you see it change. Take your arrow here, it's the change. You see? Take your arrow here, it's the change. So I can come to this place and turn it if you want. And if you want it to do something different, you can do it so easily. You can turn it, left click and hold. Turn it and right click. Can you see? It's working. Right? It's working very well. So, if you want something of this nature, or let me show you something still. Don't forget, whenever your arrow go to this place, you see what it changes to? Now watch. Let me take my arrow there. Now watch. You see? If you drag right, it will change it figure automatically. If you return it, it will change a figure to another side. But if you want it to go back to what you want, control Z on your keyboard. You see? Now we got what we want. You see? We got two of them. But okay, still, let me delete this and show you something what it's capable of doing. So we go back to our normal form. We'll go back to our normal form. Okay. Always remember, use this to turn the image or turn the angle or whatever you're working on. You can use this to turn, turn it. Okay. If you want this to work for you properly, if you want this to work for you properly, there's what we call convert to curve. Always convert to curve. You can come to this place on your bar menu. And say convert to curve or for easy access you can right click on the image and say convert to curve okay let's convert to curve now left click you see now it's been converted so on this now i can hold any angle and take it alone you see now hold any angle you see now i can take a particular angle you see And say a particular angle. I can also create another one here. Can create another one here. How you can tear the place out is by double click, double left click. You see, you can change it to anything you want. You can use it to cut, use that to cut and do anything you want. Right? Okay, let me return this. By Control Z, Control Z, back to normal. So, if you right click, if you convert to curve, if you convert to curve, you can you can make anything you want out of it. You can make anything you want out of it. 
if you convert to curve you can make anything you want out of it let's say from this now we can easily make an envelope so there's something i wanted to do with copy and paste to duplicate this very image now Control c and also Control v you see we have duplicated the image now now see what happened we can change the color of one if we want you see now we have we have a kind of made an envelope here very simple way we highlight them so you know that there are two let me show it to you this is a two picture you see <laughs> it's very very simple it's just that it's technical it's very very simple so control z to return it and if i want i can change their color you see if i want again i can change this very one to to another color you see graphic design is a kind of is a very very simple thing but it's very technical so let's delete this so let me show you the second tool i will show you this tool and we'll stop here today so that we'll be following little by little okay always remember before you work on anything before you use any tool you must bring this rectangle here you see without this you cannot work on anything okay give it any color of your choice now the third one is a word is this one you see if you want to zoom out you see you see so in the same place if you want to bring it out you right click here there's an arrow here any arrow that i said is is showing you that there's another tools there okay you can come to this place and pick it and keep again you see okay now we want to want to return it this is in this place too you can get you can get the zoom out and the zoom in symbol here zoom out let's take this small one okay now we we'll take the zoom out still not that the maximum level reach so it's zoom out you zoom in but in another simple way but in another simple way in another simple way you can use your mouse because in your mouse there is a rule you can use your mouse to zoom it out or zoom it in yeah you can use your mouse your mouse zoom it out you see you zoom it in so that is about this so there is an arrow here okay let me add one more i said i was going to stop here right okay let me just add one one more so i'm through with this i return the two to the first arrow then delete it i'm deleting it because i'm through with it so i want to show you how this works this is what's called a free hand tool this free hand tool give you a chance or opportunity to draw anything free hand sketch you can use this for freehand sketching some of us that are good at freehand sketching okay let me pick this you see this now you watch left click and hold you see this left click and hold left click and hold you can draw anything you want here if you left click you hold you can draw anything can draw anything and if you like you can take a shape too take a shape to like the way i'm doing and fix it to to kind of whatever you want you see so this uh freehand tool it helps a lot there it has some sub tools here too you can click it you see if you click it there is a, a benzia here there is artistic media there is also a pen tool this there is a uh, what we call a polyline tool there's a uh, three point curve three point curve a lot of us might be wondering what is this all about 
you see it's what we call the three point curve this is how it works a lot of us like doing something funny <laughs> so this is how it works yeah so and if you check here very well very well there are a lot of these two spots but uh i will be talking about them in my next class so thank you very much thanks for watching thanks for being with me please if you enjoy this class and you kind of develop interest in the class please subscribe to my channel and uh hit the notification the notification bell so that whenever i drop any video at all it will get to you quickly thank you so much thank you thank you thank you bye bye